welcome back to my channel uh, i'm happy to see you in my channel thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for following all my youtube uh, videos that i have in my channel um, i read uh, some of your comments uh, about uh, was about uh, you guys requested to see more about uh, this uh, sewing ma machine um, other comments thank you for all other comments of course i read them all uh, but most of them was asking about uh, how can we know more about uh, this uh, brand of or this made of sewing machine uh, because some of you would like to purchase a sewing machine so as I mentioned in my previous video uh, for meet my uh, sewing machine um, I made a, a, a tutorial about uh, um, this exact uh, sewing machine uh, I have it in the link uh, in the description I have the link in the description below uh, check that out for part one this is part two where we are going to learn about uh, more about um, uh, more functionality that this sewing machine can do um, it actually can write some letters it can change uh, it can add some decorative uh, stitch um, I'm just gonna turn it off to show you the letters if you look here there are there is all the letters I have so uh, it's basically from A to Z and even there are special characters like a Roman characters there's parentheses there's numbers uh, there are all sorts of nice stuff that you can use the sewing machine with uh, like you saw I just turn it off to flip it uh, uh, left and right you can't do this when she when the sewing machine is on uh, I don't recommend it will burn the the chip uh, the computer chip inside it because it's basically a chip and once you move things around while it's on maybe something from them from the other part of the machine will slide into that chip and burn it so I don't recommend moving your machine upside down or whatever when it's on you can slightly move it uh, right backward and 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 uh, uh, front and backward when it's on but don't turn it upside down while it's on um, so uh, let's get started so uh, now, uh, you, as you see here, once I turn my machine on, <coughs> you can see it. Uh, there's a green light uh, pops up in this section. That means I'm going to use anything within these, uh, um, within this square or rectangle. All the stitches are in here, falls under this category right there. So that's what is now uh, being shown as a green okay if i would like to use my letters obviously the one with letter a so i'm gonna go ahead and choose the letters so now when you see the letters so now in that screen there <clears throat> you can see it uh, it's waiting for me to enter some digits right so for each letter for each letter for each letter there is a corresponding uh, number above it like for a it's 0 1 for B 0 2 and so forth etc um, etc et so uh, in order for me to start the letters I need to first tell the machine okay I'm going to do uh, letters uh, stitches so I need to select my letters and then it waiting for me as I said to enter the letter that I will be using so before we enter the letter there is another thing that we want to make sure that we have already installed is in up above that zero there is a letter is N that means the foot of the your sewing machine need to be N uh, right now I'm using the normal foot which is in most cases it's J see that there is a small little embroidered uh, J on there so this is not gonna work with the letters you need to change the one for the letters and it's normally comes with this brand again if you weren't following on my first uh, tutorial for meet my sewing machine this brand is uh, made of um, brother uh, or this make made of brother and uh, rather and uh, the number for it is SQ9130 um, 
you can get a good price for it um it's in walmart you can get it cheaper than any other spot or even from the website of brother itself you can buy it off there as well and the good thing about brother their customer support is great um if you have any trouble with anything they troubleshoot it with you if there's something like a fatal error like something in the ship itself of course you have a warranty and it will they will replace it for you so um now we are back to our uh, foot so we have to look for our in um in foot and i believe it's one of those guys this one second. there so there is my end foot. This has like a, a transparent plastic part. And if you look closely here, it says N right there. Okay, so I'm going to install this. And the way to install that is very simple. You just uh, slide it under your foot and, and it will automatically attach to it. You just have to put your foot down and it will attach to it. It's just like magnet to it. Now... I put my thread to be black uh, just for you guys to see. I'm gonna use uh, um, a white fabric so you can see what I'm doing. So basically, in order for me to do, let's say, let's say, wanna say, I will like to write my name. So my name starts with an M. My name is Mary. So I'm gonna say one and three because in the M say thirteen. So I'm gonna have to change this to three. And then once I do that. I will you see this uh, button right there it says underneath it add so I added it so first letter was M and then next letter is a which is it's uh, the the corresponding number for it is zero one so I'm gonna change that to zero one and then add it and then R is uh, the corresponding letter for it is 18 okay so one and here I'm gonna change this to eight and add and then why the corresponding letter for it is 25 25 so now if I tell my machine I want to sew that and it will do so so let's put our foot down and start sewing Okay, and here we have Mary. <clears throat> One thing I forgot to mention is the direction. So now you see when I put my fabric this way, this way it wrote Mary from left to right. So from like as if it's from top to bottom uh, kind of thing. Um, so there you have it. So uh, you can clean your, uh, your, your name a little bit like with... Um, With your seam wrapper like that, I'm just going to clean between it so you can see how nice it is. Because normally it leaves like kind of small um, lines in between that you might not want. So um, as you can see, we, uh, we completed our name. Again, you can do whatever names you can do. Um, so... Um, let's try uh, now using another fun uh, another uh, um, uh, letters or maybe numbers I rather say okay so let's try with the numbers so now we are going to delete everything we had here in order to delete your name you just check the letters back and forth and then you hit delete so let's say I have Mary oh check I don't want that delete 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 until you delete it all okay okay so um uh now for the numbers you can add it by also checking the corresponding number so let's say i want to say one two three so let's do that one is a corresponding uh number is 32 
so go ahead and add 30 and then oops two and then add and then the next one I want to say uh, two is 33 33 and add and then I want to say one two three four okay so I get I got one and two now three is 34 add and then four is 35 and add okay and now we are ready to print that or uh, sew that rather okay so here we go and as you can see while it's sewing uh, this number on the top it keeps changing see now it's four that means it's writing number four or the letter that we choose for position number four so it's not four like for number four it's four for the position of the letter like if we say six seven eight nine then nine will be in position four okay see what i'm getting so the position is zero uh, is now finished so now start back again from one okay so let's see how that looks And here you have it so one two three four again you can uh, snip these parts that uh, the lines in between and it will looks great like so see now we have one two three four I'm, I'm sure that you see it uh, the reverse way it's okay you got the idea um, another thing that you can do with this awesome sewing machine is uh, some more decorative item on the top here I'm gonna show you this section as well as you can see there are also some decorative stitch that you can use for embroidery for so many other things you can decorate your uh, uh, your project with so in order to get to to these stitches again you need to make sure you are in this um, uh, section which is you need to change to so it says these guys are under this group so this group that you need to use so this group with where is your green light is will have these stitches so now back to our foot so do we need an, a special foot not all the stitches now it's it's positioned back the needle to zero zero which is the default normal stitch but we won't like to do um, let's say the flower for example or the heart let's do the hearts so if I say I want the hearts it says there 17 so I'm gonna say 1 and then 7 so now it says okay you need to use foot number N which already we have installed uh, earlier for the letter the same foot which is this one so uh, we're gonna put it back and we're gonna start to stitch now for the for this guys you can easily adjust the length between each heart see where you did the letters or the name or, or the numbers or the name rather um, you don't have much space right but with here you can really adjust your space between the hearts so we are going to try a couple of trials to show you what is the difference so uh, now the spacing is the default normally the default will have like a kind of circle around the number see these two circles that mean these are the default numbers you need to use um, so now let's go do the hearts and see if we increase the stitches how it's going to look or the spacing rather Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna show you. So these are my hearts. They're very cute, aren't they? So uh, in order to increase, so now they look cute already. Uh, if you wanna increase the spacing between them or like so, let's do that. So I'm gonna start by this. I'm gonna make this seven. Okay, and let's see how this looks like. ok 
Okay, I'm gonna stop here again and show you how this it looks like. See, you got a little bit bigger hearts. See that? It's a little bit bigger hearts than this one. These are a little bit smaller. So let's increase then the length between each set. So if we go, okay, I want it four. It's gonna be a very wide spread it over um, heart. So let's see. Okay, so let's stop here and take a look. Okay, see these? See the differences? See how far apart they are now? They are very far apart. So you can play around with this combination of, um, of numbers and uh, uh, stitch lengths and stitch uh, uh, widths and all of that uh, with each letter you can't imagine how many combination you will end up with so it's a lot of setup for just one particular stitch so I totally recommend this sewing machine it's a uh, it stays with me for a long time you can never this been with me for now about uh, three years and I had no troubles whatsoever only uh, user error like I will break the needle because I didn't change it when I'm using a uh, uh, thick fabric or whatnot so yeah I completely recommend that it's very um, it's very uh, hard working machine one thing that you cannot do with this uh, machine is um, a leather. Uh, it's not good with leather. Uh, even if you have um, a leather needle and you have your walking foot, yet it's not as good like when you come to very, very, very thick layers of fabric. I'm talking about leather rather it's not as good but for quilting it is the best you can use it for quilting uh, there is a quilting foot that come with it <coughs> this one I might use I might do another tutorial for quilting I don't do quilting a lot but I um, I know how to use this foot is very nice it's basically a walking foot it has like wheels in the bottom that makes it walk on the fabric and move the fabric for you so you don't have to worry about thick layers being stuck under the needle it's very this comes with the sewing machine uh, so it's very handy and also there is a freehand one too which is this one this is also for quilting and it uh, allows you to do freehand sewing like if you want to go you do your uh, your your drawing by your hand like on like as if you're drawing uh, for quilting <coughs> excuse me yeah so it's very uh, it's very neat and uh, I don't you I don't do quilting so I don't I never use this any of these foot at all I only use this walking foot for uh, for when I have a, a layers of fabric, uh, like I'm doing, uh, let's say a bag uh, was made of fabric, of, of course, I will use this one just because I wanted to move the fabric for me because I have so much layers. But with leather, I don't think it's a good idea to use it with leather. It's not going to be easy. Um, you will end up very <laughs> upset because it's not meant for that. You would rather go buy industrial uh, brand. Um, uh, rather than using this uh, commercial one so yeah so that's all about it uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you really like it give it a thumbs up and if this is your first time in my channel I encourage you uh, to check out the rest of the videos I have and uh, see you next time